Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon, I'm coming to you from the Virgil L. Gilman Trail. I believe we are in Montgomery, Illinois. Uh, right where we're at right now, on Hill Avenue, uh, you can see way out there, a water tower for Aurora. Uh, over this way through the trees, there's one for Montgomery. A little further down the road is one for Oswego, so we're really close to all three of these towns. The Virgil Gilman Trail is just about 11 miles each way, so it's not very long of a ride. And uh, I've only ridden this trail once, which was at some point last year, so this is uh, my first opportunity to come out to this trail this year, so it'll be uh, nice to check this trail out again. Okay, so we're starting the trail over here on the eastern side. It ends way up here at the Wobansi Community College, uh, which is right around uh, Route 47. And right around the Fox River, we cross the Fox River Trail. Okay, and we're off. One of the reasons I chose this trail for today was, one, that I have not ridden it all year, and two, we've had a bunch of rain recently, so I was looking for a trail that wouldn't take me an incredibly long time to get to that was paved to uh, limit uh, any possibilities of flooding. Uh, because of the amount of rain we've had in the past few days, there's definitely possibility of flooding issues. Okay, so there's a brand new trail right here. Uh, I have no idea where it goes. It might just go to a neighborhood, uh, but I'm definitely gonna check that out on the way back and see where it goes. So it looks like uh, just before mile marker number one, you have access to another uh, parking lot uh, for uh, trail access. So, and I should also point out at the one that we started at on Hill Avenue, there's no restroom and there's no restroom at the one we just passed either. So keep that in mind. Uh, the trailhead is not too far from some restaurants. I stopped at Sonic, grabbed a drink. So uh, you could use the restroom there, I assume. Okay, so about two miles into the ride, there's a park here. I'm pretty sure it noted on the map that there was a restroom here. There are, in fact, restrooms here, uh, but these doors are time-locked based on a daily open or reservation schedule, so the restrooms are not available. So uh, if you're on this trail, just keep that in mind. So it's on this bridge where the Virgil Gilman Trail uh, crosses the Fox River Trail. Uh, in order to make it all the way to Oswego, you have to cross down here, come up this uh, trail up to the top of the bridge here, and then ride along this way, and the trail continues on this side of the water over here. So one of the great things about the Virgil Gilman Trail is the fact that you have access to the Fox River Trail. So uh, you could start at any point on the Virgil Gilman Trail and uh, connect to the Fox River Trail and go north or south wherever you needed to go. Mm -hmm. 
So once you hit Rathbone Avenue, uh, you have to uh, ride on the street here, uh, just a couple of turns before you get back on, nothing too major. Although it does note that the road is rough through here, so just be aware of that. About 4.1 miles in, we come across another trail access parking area with this really elaborate stone sign here. So this sign is pretty interesting because the route that they have you go is completely different than what all trails has. And you just saw the route and it was pretty simple to do. So I'm not exactly sure why they have you go out of your way here. Uh, what we did was follow this down to Rathbone Road, go up to here, a turn on Terry, and then we have access to the trail again. And as you could see, they have you going uh, all the way to Randall Road before you access the trail again. I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, so just past Edgelawn Drive, there's another trail access parking area, so that seems to be plentiful. Uh, once again, there's no restroom of any kind here. Once again, another one of these signs. Uh, we're about six miles into the trail, and uh, it's about at this point where I'm wondering why they spent all this money on signs like these instead of sticking some restrooms in uh, some strategic locations. So, uh, about six miles in, another elaborate sign here, another trail parking area once again there's no restroom looks like they have bike tools over there so at least there's that
mile marker 6.5. It looks like their mile markers do not add up in each direction here. 6.5 on one side, 4.5 on the other. So it looks like we're about 4.5 miles uh, from the end of this trail. We're right here at Blackberry Farm. It looks like it's a part of the Fox Valley Park District here. A bunch of cars here, and I saw what looked like hay rides back there. And just across from uh, Blackberry Farm, uh, Splash Country Water Park is right here. As you saw, the sign said it was closed for the season. Looks like a nice property here. Uh, once again, uh, we've reached trail parking and another one of those really elaborate signs. So, but no restroom here. So right when you get into mile nine and mile 10, uh, this is definitely the coolest part of the trail here. A very woodsy, very hilly, nice curves. And look at all that color. So I did mention uh, earlier that uh, it, we just had a bunch of rain. So I just want to point out for you, especially uh, new e-bikers, just got to watch out when you're on a paved surface like this with a bunch of leaves. Uh, what I'm noticing are the ones on top are dry, uh, but the leaves below that uh, are still very wet and very slick. So it's very easy to lose traction on surface like this.
Okay, so we've made it to the uh, western end of the Virgil Gilman Trail. It ends right in this uh, college parking lot. But in that 11 mile or so ride, uh, not a single restroom. Uh, so definitely not the best trail for that. Uh, but at this point, there's nothing to do but uh, start heading back.
Okay, well we're on this brand new little section. I don't have any idea where it's going to go, so let's check it out. Okay, well it looks like it dead ends right into a sidewalk here. I'm not sure what the name of this road is, but I'll put that up. It also goes to the Oswego Public Library District building which is uh, right over this way. And it looks like the other side trail takes you right up to this library here. And always, when given the opportunities, take a moment to recognize Old Glory, waving in the very light breeze, as she should. So at this point, I think we're only about a half mile or less away from the car. So I'm just going to head the rest of the way back. Mm -hmm. 